scientists discover phenomenon impacting the Earth's radiation belts. The graph showing the cutaway model of Earth's radiation belts with two Van Allen belts, the uh, University of Fairbanks, Alaska. Two University of Alaska Fairbanks scientists discovered a new type of Whistler, an electromagnetic wave that carries a substantial amount of lightning or energy to the Earth's magnetosphere. The research is published today in Science Advances. Vikas Sonwalker, a professor emeritus at Amani Reddy, and Amani Reddy, assistant professor, discovered the new type of wave. The wave carries lightning energy, which enters the ionosphere at low latitudes to the magnetosphere. The energy is reflected upwards by the ionosphere's lower boundary at about 55 miles altitude in the opposite hemisphere. It was previously believed, the authors write, that lightning energy entering the ionosphere at low latitudes remained trapped in the ionosphere and therefore was not reaching the radiation belts. The belts are two layers of charged particles surrounding the planet and held in place by Earth's magnetic field. And they said, we as a society are dependent on space technology, Sunwalker said. Modern communication and navigation systems, satellites and spacecraft with astronauts aboard encounter harmful energetic particles of the radiation belts which can damage electronics and cause cancer. Having a better understanding of radiation belts and the variety of electromagnetic waves, including those originating in terrestrial lightning, that impact them is vital for human operations in space, he said. Sunwalker and Reddy's discovery is a type of Whistler wave they call a specularly reflected Whistler. Whistlers produce a whistling sound when played through a speaker. Lightning energy entering the ionosphere at higher latitudes reaches the magnetosphere as a different type of Whistler called the magnetospherical reflected whistle, Whistler which undergoes one or more reflections within the magnetosphere. The ionosphere is a layer of Earth's upper atmosphere characterized by a high concentration of ions and free electrons. It is ionized by solar radiation and cosmic rays, making it conductive and crucial for radio communication because it reflects and modifies radio waves. Earth's magnetosphere is a region of space surrounding the planet and created by Earth's magnetic field. It provides a protective barrier that prevents most of the solar wind's particles from reaching the atmosphere and harming life and technology. Sunwalker and Reddy's research shows that both types of whistlers, spe uh, specularly reflected whistlers and magnetospherically reflected whistlers, coexist in the magnetosphere. And in their research, the authors use plasma wave data from NASA's Van Allen probes, which launched in 2012 and operated until 2019, and lightning data from the Worldwide Lightning Detection Network. They developed a wave propagation model that, when considered uh, specularly reflected whistlers, showed the doubling of lightning energy reaching the magnetosphere. Reviewing of plasma wave data from the Van Allen probes showed that specularly reflected whistlers are, common, are a common magnetospheric phenomenon. The majority of lightning occurs at the low latitudes, which are tropical and subtropical regions prone to thunderstorm development. This implies that specularly reflected whistlers probably carry a greater part of lightning energy to the magnetosphere relative to that, that carried by magnetospherically reflected whistlers, Sunwalker said. The impact of lightning generated whistler waves on radiation belt physics and their use in remote sensing of magnetospheric plasma have been researched since the 1950s. Sunwalker and Reddy are with the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering in the UAF College of Engineering and Mines. Reddy is also affiliated with the UAF Geophysical Institute. Sunwalker and Reddy's research is supported by grants from the National Science Foundation, NASA EPSCOR, the established program to stimulate competitive research. And this is uh, by uh, Rod Broyce, University of Alaska Fairbanks on FIS.org. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. 
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.